Hi guys. So today's demonstration is to show how we can use the map C to map C to digitize uh, sorry to georeference is scan or calibrate to use the proper term to calibrate a scanned image scan map. So a scan map for today is called the Ajibo map. Um, if you want to take a look at it, we could quickly take a look at it here. It is a 1 is to 500,000 map. It's just a cut off that stage map. Let's open it and see. So that's it there. It's not too big anything, not too big a map. But you can see that it has cities here. So what we want to do now, we have this paper scan map. I want to quickly calibrate it using map c to map c so what we do is here we load image for calibration so it will ask us is it from a file of pawns from map coordinates from four corners or from north south east west so we would have prepared the kind of coordinates that you want to use to calibrate the map with um for many uh, times you could say from map coordinates from north east south east so you know the boundary of the map so what we are going to do here is that we want to calibrate for map coordinates so it's going to ask for the map so we simply navigate to where the map is it's here and that's the map we open it's going to ask us um, you choose your map grid type most times it took latitude or longer if you are going to work in utm you choose your mercator so let's take lat long wgs 84 and now we've got it so it's going to give you this um this um, particular cross and you have to just pick the points where your coordinates are so we have the coordinates of the jibu town we click it in so it will tell us here to load in the coordinates latitude longitude so you have it in degree minute second so we'll fill in for a jibu here we have for our latitude for a jibu we have seven for our minutes we are 54 and our seconds will be zero zero point three two good so longitude for that particular point that's why it's good you have to have organized your point before you come here 18 so you make your work neater and faster and that's 56.55 there you are are you okay so you will cut that point we go next to our next point is a shogo we pick that try and spread your points around as possible so we have 746 and um, for seconds for should go we have 04.28 and um, the next one we have 4 also but this time around is 33 as far up 59.59 so three. Uh, sorry, thirty-four. Thirty-four. This will be zero zero point three six for that second point. Okay. So most times you have to put a third point just to get um the to better your accuracy or your time you just click to finish but to kind of better your accuracy you put in a third point so we could just say for us click to finish we're okay so we got it there and um calibrated the map view and that's your map here you can see the calibration up here so it's done the calibration for you you have a calibrated map so the next thing we could do is we should write a geotiff of it so it's done the geotiff 
and that's um, we could also view the geotiff and that's it so that's as simple as that it's done the geotiff here exported it out so what we now look for in our folder now is the geotiff of our image so that's the ajigbo geotiff over there we could easily open let's open a new map here this card we could now come to rasta image we're looking for the Ajibo teeth and let's open it here and there you see if you look down here he's already georeferenced for you to immediately start work on and if you look here you check layer CRS is WGS84 so that's just how to quickly georeference or calibrate a scan map using map C map C to map C software thanks for listening and please feel free to send in your comments.